Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how easily you can use the Kaggle API to download a data set from Kaggle. So imagine like you don't have to always just go to kaggle.com and then search for a data set and then download it manually, move it to a folder and all that stuff. Right now you can just use the Kaggle API, just search for a data set. You can just have a query and then download that data set in the folder that you that you desire okay so let's go ahead and do that but before i start i just want to thank you guys for liking this video and for subscribing to our channel because we really want to help you guys grow in the data science and machine learning space thanks a lot and let's go ahead and now do this we can go to kaggle.com docs api and here we have all the documentation that we need to to do the needful so let's go ahead and the first thing that we need to do is install Kaggle with pip. And if we run this command, we're going to see that we already have this. So I already have it, but you go ahead and run pip install Kaggle and this uh, package will be installed. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, Kaggle actually requires that the authentication key Right, the token that you use to actually access the data, you need to have it in a specific folder in uh, .kaggle. So we're going to have to create a folder. I'm going to actually create it in my root directory because that's what Kaggle actually desires. So you can see we have this message ensure Kaggle uh, JSON is in the location root directory dot Kaggle and Kaggle JSON in order to use the API. Now, if we go here and we can create this folder, I already have it. You will have to create that, of course. And what we need to do now is go to our Kaggle profile and we need to create a token or okay so we have here create a new api token but the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to expire all the api tokens that i have all the api tokens were, were expired so now what i can do i can easily create a new token by just clicking this and it will download a json file that consists of my username and uh, the api key and now we can go ahead and we can copy that from the downloads folder so we're going to use the copy command and i'm going to use kaggle.json and we're going to copy that to so run this and now our file has been copied so if we go to that specific location right all the files in that folder so we have that json file now it has been copied to the kaggle folder that is required by the kaggle api now we have this everything is good to go now all we have to do is use kaggle datasets list and then we're going to have a search query here and let's search for fraud de fraud detection you can search for anything that you desire, but I'm just going to search for fraud detection so we can see what data sets we have here. Okay, so we get a warning, of course, because my API key is readable by other, by other users, but I'm on local. I don't care. Of course, I can fix this by running this command, but yeah, it doesn't matter for me at the moment. But definitely, if you have a shared system, you can do that and protect it. So we can see we have a whole bunch of data sets that we can use for any problem that we want to solve. And if we want to download a data set, we can simply use Kaggle and then data sets download. And now we can specify Let's say we want to use, I, I always use the synthetic financial data set for fraud detection. We can easily just 
pass this link and if we run this as you can see the file downloaded uh, pretty quickly so what we can do now is unzip this file because it's actually a zipped file and we can use unzip but if you don't have it you can install it with sudo apt-get install unzip now I already have this so I'm not gonna run this command but if you don't have unzip you can easily download it like this so what we can do now we can use unzip to unzip this file and we're going to specify the location data we have a data folder inside this uh, this location okay so let's run this and it inflated and our csv file is named this if we go to our synthetic financial data set you can see this is the file name as well now what we need to do we it, it's best to actually rename these files because they look the, the, the name is not that intuitive so i'm just gonna grab this i'm gonna rename this file i'm gonna use the move command and i'm gonna specify that we rename it paysim dot csv okay so we're renaming from this to this and now if we check the file name we can easily do that see data and then ls and we, we can see that we have paysim.csv. dot csv 